Hello everybody, and welcome to this top secret review on my map I'm creating. This is Fat Princess in Minecraft. Some of you guys already knew I was going to do this review, because I accidentally posted the wrong video when I actually posted my other review. So I'm just going to do this new one here. So, uh, I've added a lot more, so I decided to just scrap the old one. And yeah, I'll explain what I did in the old one as well, though. So, here, um... If you guys know the game Fat Princess, there are these spawn towers. You claim them, and then you then you'll spawn there. And uh, so this basically it just sets the nearest player spawn point. Very simple. Uh, now, Fat Princess about is about feeding your princess cake to make it fatter. And you need to get the, pr the other player's print the other castle's princess and bring it to your castle once you have both princesses you win but the thing is so fun is that you can throw in some cake and make the people who lift up the princess back make them make their progress a lot slower so you can see here got some powered rails so once the people push this minecart into them they'll get a big boost but if you throw in the cake here well it's not supposed to be that you're supposed to have cake and then it'll turn off, so now it's a lot harder. Also, it'll, it'll say Blue Princess has been captured, and that's what it thats what it actually says in the game. Oh, God, no. And that this is how you carry the princess around. This is probably, an, you can see an unfair advantage, but I kind of made up for it by the amount of power drills and everything. So, yeah. And there are five different classes in the actual game, not including the uh, downloaded classes, so... I'm not including the downloadable content classes such as the giant, the wizard, the ninja, and the pirate. It's just the five, the five um, classes you get that by default just by buying the game by itself. So there's the warrior, the mage, the worker, the priest, and last and least. Well, not least. I'm not sure if you if you don't like archer, it's probably the least. But archer. And, uh, as you can see here, there's a catapult which will launch you into the opponent's base, which is not actually that good because you get launched, let's say here. So you land here, and people can easily kill you before you walk all the way down to get the princess. Um, yeah, so I might as well continue showing you here. Um, also, here's what you do. You have to get some wood and stone. And once you give one wood and one stone, for every class, it will be upgraded. For example, uh, uh, so I'm going to program something. Let's say if I enter it here. I don't know why I put those torches there. But, oh god, I didn't even set this. So, um, okay. I have it set up at the blue castle. So, Because my blue castle has been the one I've been working on first. And I have more of the redstone stuff set up. And yeah. So this is all the redstone. I ha I did show you guys a sneak peek earlier. About all this redstone. This is some redstone. It's nice redstone creation. But. Okay. I have that in there. So I'm just going to do. Just delete that. It's okay. Because I still have it in my chat. Say hi. So. Okay. So. Let's say, when I use the warrior, when I use the worker, I would just be teleported anywhere, but let's say I want to use the upgraded worker, I would click here, and then it will say to me only, you have not upgraded the worker yet, so, and, uh, it won't dis this text won't display to anybody else except for the, um, the person who clicks the button, or the closest person to the button, and, uh, now let's just show you what happens when you upgrade it, you need one stone, and one wood. And and after a while, that should be extended out, but um, let's see. Hi. Well, now it works, but hold on. I actually need to fix something. See, that's why this is still in progress. Okay. Well, now you see that this, this thing worked, but um... Let's see. The thingamber dabber dabber lobber. Ranch lobber. Okay, so what didn't work was uh, 
the piston. This was not powered, interesting. So what I actually have to do is, I guess I'll just use lapis lazuli, whatever. Um, perfect, perfect. I'll just build across, and simple like that, see? Now, uh, so now, let's say I took out, yeah, if I took out one, it would just retract, and if I took out both of them, the, sign the thing would just turn off. So, yeah, but um, in the actual game, once you upgrade it once, it doesn't change back for the whole entire game. So, which is why if you wanted to replay this game after you finished a round, you would have to just re- in the re get the map so so it's not really resettable so yeah and those are the spawn towers this is just some of the terrain here um to get your wooden stone there are some cobblestone generators here and this is a nice little nifty wood thingy so basically you just take a sapling and there's just bone meal here which dispenses into here and this is a dispenser so it won't actually shoot anything out and once this loses bone meal and you grow a tree, it will uh, refill up with this dropper. So it's basically you have a lot of bone meal to make this tree. I might actually change it though because um, I might actually modify this because it takes a few bone meal to fully grow the tree. And I'm not sure if that's because of the wall because it took like a lot of bone meal. And now it's supposed to take like three or five, but... It's taken like 10 sometimes when I test it. Cobblestone generators, I know they work, just boom. Or you could use this fancy 4 1. Oh god, that was bad. Um, you could use this fancy 4 1 and go like, oh, oh. Oh god. See, I d I'm just destroying everything now. Yeah, I just slept in that bed. It's not actually gonna be there. This is the red castle, same thing. Now I'll show you some redstone on the outside. Oh man, okay. Um, let's see if I got anything in. Yeah, there is an opening. So, this is where you'll start off. Now, the reason you'll need this review is because I'm gonna make a later on tutorial because this guide actually doesn't explain everything. It's a very simple guide, and uh, there's still a lot of things. It's just um, the basics. This is just the basics, but if you need to know more in depth about the game, you're just gonna. So this world you'll spawn, well welcome to Fat Princess in Minecraft. If you don't know Fat Princess, search it, read guide for rules. Or you could um, watch a future video I'm going to make when I post this. Right after I post this. After I click begin game, it will teleport everybody to here, but since I'm by myself and forever alone, it's only me. And then you select if you want to be in the blue team or the red team. Whatever you select... It doesn't matter, it'll just teleport the nearest player. But the thing is, um, it's actually pretty important to watch. The thing is, when you um, you must wait for it to say next before you can actually... Um, before you can actually... Okay, I'll do that just to stop it. Before you can actually um, go in. Because if there's two people at this at a time, it's not going to work. So once I go in here, actually, okay, I need pressure plate. So this should have dispensed it on my head, which when I tested it before, it did. Also, I'm using Minecraft Enhanced, and uh, the reason it didn't teleport me was because that and yeah so then it'll say next for red may come and it'll teleport me away and once it does that the next person can click the red button or the blue button whatever is this hold on i just saw next for blue may come yeah but the the helmets there are red and the helm is here must be red i'm confused i don't know um, but they should all be blue. I have no idea. If I switch on over to the default texture pack, actually, 
Maybe it's just because of the texture pack. I don't know. Mm. <sighs> God, I can't do anything. I need to change. Why is it taking this long to switch to default? Marble. Okay, there we go. Even the font changes. So, now, nah. oh god. Oh god, it feels so much different. Uh, so, red, and we'll look at the other one, and... Okay, so apparently it's just all red. So, um, yeah, but I I'll change that. Good thing I made this video. And once somebody wins, it'll teleport them to here or here depending on which team won. If red team won it would teleport you here. If blue team won it would teleport you here. Also for sneak peek every time somebody wins a random player will be given a diamond sword. So yeah you can just kill your teammates after. So oh yeah and after you select your team you'll be teleported to either this side or this side. Just separated from a glass wall actually. Uh, oh god. So, once you're, when you have to click ready and ready, and, uh, yeah. Once both teams click ready, it'll, they'll count, it'll just say, start game starting in three, two, it'll, it'll do a countdown, and once it says begin, the redstone signal will just go to here and teleport the three nearest players, which would be, and this is only the 3v3 version. I might also release a 5v5 version. And, uh, yeah. There's going to be a 3v3 and 5v5. So I'm going to make both of those. And now here's the character selection. Because there are 10 different characters. Uh, worker, mage, archer, priest, warrior, and the upgraded forms of them. Uh, there's 10 of these. Depending on which one you click, they'll teleport you into these. Give you all the necessary items. Actually, no, you'll teleport you to one of these, which would clear your inventory, because if it didn't clear your inventory, then you wouldn't, then you would have, you could have multiple items from different classes. Then it will teleport you into here, and because it cleared your inventory, it also would clear your helmet, so it put into here, which would have, which has, um, wait, so it would just re-dispense those helmets you lost, the helmet you lost onto you to re-equip you, and that, those ones are blue. And then it will teleport you to here, where it will give you your new armor for for your set. And this is just a thing that goes around every once in a while, turning the time to day. And these are the things that actually give the diamond sword and teleport them once a team wins. I just did those to mark off, so I could be sure which one's what. And yeah, you just push, you push the princess. I s the few things I still need to do is build the train, maybe like a mountain here, a mountain there, make different ponds and stuff. Um, make areas where cake will spawn, actually, so you can feed your princess. Um, uh, I need some beta testing in case I find any more bugs, bugs or something like that, because, but my friend does have a server, and I'll maybe put on that. Also, I need. To, I think it's about sixty-five percent done, cause I have all this stuff, all the, all the, most of the terrain at least, and I need to build this wall, the terrain, and what I did there, I need to remake on this side, except with different coordinates to teleport to, because I don't want them teleporting to the same, the same one, and yeah. So that's all for now. I'm not sure if I'll think of any new ideas, but. Well, it's um it's pretty cool, I guess. I would recommend you play it on a Minecraft enhanced cuz it looks a lot cooler, I feel. And uh yeah. So Mhm. Mm now you know a bit about this is a quick little review. But um later on I'll make some instruction guide. I'll make an instruction guide video for it right after it's released, maybe the next day. And yeah. So, you can also do some hardcore parkour here. Parkour. Parkour. 
Oh. Ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys later.